Again, um, some of you, your listeners and viewers will know uh, Stephen Curtis Chapman. Mm -hmm. Stephen's my best friend. And they came home with a, their little daughter, Shohanna. Something started percolating in my wife's heart. I had a strict no percolation policy in the house, but it didn't <laughs> seem to matter. So she began praying and uh, came and talked to me about it. I was convinced that it was not God's will in any way because, you know, I was, the boys were getting older and we didn't need babysitters and I had a whole fishing plan, you know, and, uh, but God had different plans for us. And so in, yeah, in 2001, we went to China and brought our Anna Grace home. And then two years later, the Chapmans and us went together and uh, brought home little Stevie Joy, their daughter, and our Ashley Rose. They were in cribs right next to each other in the same orphanage. We got pictures, don't we? Yeah. yeah. And then, and then we, uh, and so then we that? went. Sorry. No, 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 that's my trip to Peru. Okay. To so Peru. finish your thought then. And so they, they, uh, <laughs> <coughs> and so we brought Ashley Rose home. In fact, some people remember there was a SARS epidemic because Canada yes, yes. battled with that a bit. Mm. It was really raging in China. Our wives That's strapped right. on these masks and uh. went into China and brought our little girls home. And so it's uh, just been you know, one of those things where I've realized, again, God loves us enough to give us what we need, huh? Even when we don't know it or yeah. even when we don't think we want it. I mean, left up to me, I would have missed two of the greatest blessings in my Life. So the girls are, they're uh, six and eight now, and you know, just, I'm ruined, as they say, so. And, and you make the statement that you really believe that God uses adoption, why? He, you know, he explains well, the yeah, gospel that way. Well, yeah, I mean, way. I think, I, I really think mm -hmm. that it is the great metaphor of the gospel. I mean, mm -hmm. isn't that our story? I mean, my youngest daughter, Ashley, was found abandoned in a cardboard box when she was a day old, wrapped right. up in a men's suit coat, pushed under a bridge. And, uh, you know, somebody heard her crying and took her to an orphanage and God orchestrates this thing. Wow. And yeah, it just reminds me that God finds us, whatever condition we're in, wherever we are, doesn't matter what we've done, where we've been, makes us his daughters and sons. Mm -hmm. And so I just, I love that image of the way the gospel works. And so the girls remind me, they don't remind me of it all the time, but they remind me of it a lot. Yeah. Uh, that's good. And you brought pictures. We've got a glimpse of one already with your yeah. many compassion trips. Yeah, uh, you know, I had a chance to, to go to Peru just recently yeah. with a group of Canadian pastors, and that's our little Angie. We sponsor her in, uh, in Peru, and she's awesome. She's the same yeah, age as my little her. Ashley Rose, so they, oh, okay. uh, they write letters back and forth to each other. That's another uh, little Peruvian girl that we've oh, met along so the way. So sweet. I mean, that? They are so beautiful. And... Uh, so it was really cool. I got to go with a whole group of pastors and their wives, and we went to uh, Peru together. And then I'll come back and do concerts. In fact, yesterday I was uh, at a church where one of the pastors that had gone on the trip with us yeah. was there. So we had this whole shared experience. Sure. And, you know, it feels like community. And uh, I know you guys are big into community, so totally. it was really a sweet thing. So, so what is uh, a person's responsibility outside of their own neighborhood? Is mm -hmm. there responsibility internationally? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, and uh, you know, we can't, I can't pretend I'm not preaching to the choir here because I know you guys commit yeah, to, to missions. We love missions. Your heart for that. We're doing, and, sure. you we know, have a lot, I, lot of viewers wondering, you know, yeah. they see people, they hear stories about overseas. Right. Should people be involved beyond uh, their own should. country even? I believe we should be involved at home. I believe that we should care for people in our own backyard. So first and foremost, uh -huh. and right then I. Home. But I do believe there's a there's a greater calling to the world. I think I don't think we were born and live in a fluent Western culture because we won some celestial lottery. I believe it was because God placed us here, and I believe that's part of His great story. That we, I mean, Jesus was a poor person. He came, lived among the poor. And, and he is constantly bidding us to, to join him. And not only join him in helping the poor, but to actually find him in, in the poor, certainly in the least of these. Exactly. And so the, the amazing thing, and this is, I found this in our adoptions too, and you guys know, know this, that when you step into the lives of the poor, you are helping them, but they're helping you. Oh, totally. God's yeah. working through that whole thing yeah. to take care of us yeah. as well. And so it's not like, hey, I'm doing a favor for these people. It's I'm being welcomed into this experience. And so, you know, ministries like Compassion have showed me that so vividly. Yeah. The song you're going to sing in a moment is Every Single One. Yeah. Is there a story that, that ties in with that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, okay, if it's true that to whom much is given, much is required, you know, what I feel like I've been given are the things that I've seen, you know, on 
probably 50 international trips in my life, mm. 20, over 20 with just compassion alone, and you know the places in the world and the what I call the real world that I've seen, like yeah. I know you guys have. Uh, I have to tell that story, you know, and the way I tell it is through my little songs, and and uh, so this song is really kind of a, it's kind of a collection of this journey of where I've seen God at work, where I've seen His heart and where I feel like he's kind of bidding us to come if we want to really be with him and at work with him. Thank wow. you. Wow, God sees the one. He sees all, yeah. but he sees mm -hmm. the That's one. Right. That's right. Well, why don't you make your way? All right, I And will. as you do, we will talk about how Beautiful. people Bless can you get guys. your CD. All right. All right. Uh, this is, I, I got to say this, not just because he's here, but oh, from the first song, I think this is going to be my favorite recording of Jeff, so we highly recommend that you get it. Speak to Me is the title. Yeah. You can go to our website at crossroads.ca and get Jeff's contact information, and uh, there will be links there, et cetera, of how you can get your copy. But, oh, every single one. He sees you. He sees me. And he longs for us 